is that how it works? The SUVs, they just drive by themselves? This just kind of happened? And they say, oh, this was a big accident. Uh, you never actually hear the discussion about who committed this. Uh, what was the motivation? Uh, this guy was a career criminal, let out on, didn't really have any bail, basically. Should not have even been on the street. Uh, had clear anti-white animus. Uh, and this was an intentional act. And it seems like, you know, for corporate press, they're more apt to, to characterize a parent who goes to a school board meeting to protest bad policies as a domestic terrorist than somebody who intentionally rams an SUV into a crowd of innocent people. So you have at least six have died. You have many more that have been injured. I know many people are in the hospital. And so uh, let's just be clear. This was not a car just driving in. This was an attack by a felon who did that, who should not have been on the street. And we'll see what the actual motivation was. Uh, it very well may have been in response to what happened with Kyle Rittenhouse. And you have to wonder if that's the case. Almost surely, this guy's view of Rittenhouse was, was colored by all these media lies. He brought, a, he brought a, a rifle across state lines. That's a lie. They said that the initial altercation with Jacob Blake, that Blake was unarmed. That's a lie. They covered up Blake's criminal history. Uh, and then they said that Rittenhouse shot. And first of all, when you're, when you're self-defense, it doesn't matter, you know, kind of what race. Or, but they would say that he shot. Most people didn't know that he shot three white people. People thought. So that's what the media has been doing. And they tend to point uh, a, a target on law enforcement's back. Uh, but this is just wrong. And these lies have got to stop. And if it doesn't fit your narrative, sweeping the facts under the rug is not doing the service uh, that, that people uh, deserve. It is what we expect, unfortunately, from a lot of these places, uh, but it's wrong. And I think the way they've treated law enforcement across the board over the last two years has been an absolute disgrace. So let's just be clear. They are not wanting to cover this Wisconsin thing for what it is. They are not wanting the facts uh, to come out the way they are because the facts do not support their narrative. And it's all about pursuing partisan narratives. Thank you for watching. We are 100% independent news. Are you sick of being lied to? We certainly are. That's why we started this channel. But we can't do it without you. We can't keep going without your help. All we ask is that you click like and subscribe and share this video. It's free and it keeps us going, it keeps us growing, and it keeps us getting the truth out there to break the rotted corporate media infrastructure that wants to lie to you every single day, wants to corrupt your narratives, your truth, your story, and your very society. So support us by clicking like, clicking subscribe, and thank you, patriots.